Rush Holt Jr. Rush G. Holt Jr. born October 15, 1948, is an American scientist and politician. He served as the U.S. representative for from 1999 to 2015. He is a member of the Democratic Party and son of former West Virginia U.S. Senator Rush D. Holt's sister. He worked as a professor of public policy and physics, and during his tenure in Congress, he was one of two physicists and the only Quaker there. Holt sought the Democratic nomination for U.S. Senate in the 2013 special primary election to fill the seat of U.S. Senator Frank Lautenberg, who died in office on June 3, 2013. He lost the nomination to New York Mayor Cory Booker. Holt announced on February 18, 2014 that he would not seek re-election in 2014. In February 2015, Holt became Chief Executive Officer of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. I was an executive publisher of the science family of journals. He served in that role until his retirement in September 2019. Early life and education. Holt was born in Weston, West Virginia, to Rush Holt's sister 1905-1955, who served as a United States Senator from West Virginia 1935-1941, and his wife Helen Frohlich Holt 1913-2015, the first woman to be appointed Secretary of State of West Virginia 1957-1959. Holt's sister was the youngest person ever to be popularly elected to the U.S. Senate at age 29. He died of cancer when Rush was six years old. Holt graduated from the London School in Bethesda, Maryland, in 1966, then later graduated Phi Beta Kappa with a BS in Physics from Carleton College in 1970, and later received his MS and PhD degrees in Physics from New York University in 1981. The title of his doctoral dissertation was Calcium Absorption Lines and Solar Activity, a Systematic Program of Observations. Academic Career Holt was a faculty member at Swarthmore College from 1980 to 1988 where he taught physics, public policy, and religion courses. During that time, he also worked as a Congressional Science Fellow for U.S. Representative Bob Edgar of Pennsylvania. From 1987 until 1989, Holt headed the Nuclear and Scientific Division of the Office of Strategic Forces at the U.S. Department of State. Holt was the Assistant Director of the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory at Princeton University, the university's largest research facility and the largest center for energy research in New Jersey. Patent. 4 million. 249,518 method for maintaining a correct density gradient in a non-convective solar pond. U.S. House of Representatives 1999-2015 U.S. House of Representatives 1999-2015 Elections 1996 Holt first ran for Congress in 1996 in New Jersey's 12th Congressional District after incumbent Republican Congressman Dick Zimmer decided to run for the U.S. Senate. On June 4, 1996, Holt lost the Democratic Party primary, receiving 24% of the votes and finishing last of the three candidates. Lambertville Mayor David Dale Vecker won the primary with 45% of the vote, and Cole May finished second with 31% of the vote. Holt received the most votes in Mercer County, while losing the other four counties in the district to Dale Vecker and Mayer. Dale Vecker won Monmouth, Huntedon, and Somerset counties, while Mayer won Middlesex County. Dale Vecker went on to lose the general election to Republican Michael Pappas. 1998 Holt decided to run again in 1998. On June 2, 1998, Holt won the Democratic primary, defeating Cole May 64% to 36%. Holt challenged one-term Congressman Michael Pappas. The incumbent's campaign experienced a setback after he read a poem set to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, praising Kenneth Starr on the floor of the House of Representatives. Holt defeated Pappas by 4 percentage points, 51% to 47%, becoming the first Democrat to represent the district in two decades. Holt won Mercer 61% and Middlesex 60%, while losing Monmouth 48%, Huntington 37%, and Somerset 40%. 2000. Holt was challenged by former Republican Congressman Dick Zimmer in the 2000 election. Holt's prior win was thought by Republicans to be a fluke, and the race attracted considerable money and advertising. The election was hotly contested, and the winner was not known on election day. Zimmer was ahead on election night by just a few votes, but Holt was ahead the next day. Ten days after the election, Holt declared himself the winner by 481 votes. Simmer challenged the results, but conceded after the camp began to go against him. Holt ultimately won the election by a margin of 651 votes, 146,162 votes for Holt, 48.730% compared to Simmer's 145,511, 48.513%, making it the only general election where Holt has not received a majority of the votes in the election. Holt won Mercer 61% and Middlesex 56%, while losing Monmouth 48%, Hunton 35%, and Somerset 37%. 2002. Redistricting after the 2000 census made Holt's district more democratic. It added much of Trenton, while losing conservative-leaning territory in Somerset and Hunton counties. While Holt faced a fairly well-funded challenge from Republican Secretary of State of New Jersey Buster Soares, Holt easily won a third term, taking 61% to Soares 38%. 
He won all five counties, Mercer 68%, Middlesex 63%, Somerset 54%, Hunter 54%, and Monmouth 52%. 2004. Hope won re-election to a fourth term, defeating Republican Bill Spady 59% to 40%. He won four or five counties, Mercer 72%, Somerset 62%, Middlesex 59%, and Hunter 52%. He lost Monmouth 48%. 2006. He won re-election to a fifth term, defeating former Helmetta, New Jersey Council President Joseph Sinagra, 66% to 34%. He won all five counties, Mercer 77%, Somerset 67%, Middlesex 65%, Hunted 61%, and Mama 56%. 2008. He won re-election to a sixth term, defeating Holmdel, New Jersey Deputy Mayor Alan Bayman, 63% to 35%. He won all five counties, Mercer 77%, Somerset 66%, Middlesex 64%, Hunted 55%, and Monmouth 50%. 2010. Holt raised $2,229,432 in the 2010 election cycle and spent $1,891,463. 72% came from individual donations and 26% from PC donations. Holt's former employer, Princeton University, was his single biggest donor giving $56,863. Holt's opponent, Scott Sprell, raised $1,541,776 and spent $1,327,946. 65% of Sprell's funds came from self-financing. Independent Kenneth Cody refused to accept any donations. Holt won re-election to a seventh term, defeating Sprell 53% to 46%. He won three of five counties, Mercer 70%, Somerset 60%, and Middlesex 52%. He lost Hunter in 43% and Mormon 38%. 2012. After redistricting in 2011, the 12th district became even more democratic. All of the Republican-leaning portions of Hunter County and Monmouth County were taken out of the 12th district while the democratic-leaning towns of Plainfield, Scotch Plains, Farmwood, Middlesex, Dunnellan, Bambrook, South Bambrook, Manville, East Windsor, Tadshire, and Heights Dam were added to the 12th district. Additionally, sections of Trenton, Franklin Township and Oldbridge Township, which were formerly located in the 4th and 6th Congressional Districts, respectively, were also added to the 12th District. Only four counties remained, Mercer, Somerset, Middlesex, and now Union. Holt won re-election to an 8th term, defeating Republican businessman Eric Beck 69% to 29%. He won all four counties, Mercer 77%, Union 73%, Somerset 69%, and Middlesex 62%. On February 18, 2014, Rush Holt announced that he would not seek re-election to the House of Representatives in 2014. Tenue. Holt was also only the second research physicist to be elected to Congress, and the first physicist to be elected as a Democrat. He joined Van Ehlers IMI and was later joined by Bill Foster DAL. Foster is currently the only research physicist in the U.S. House of Representatives with the retirement of Ehlers, and Foster defeating Judy Bigot in 2012 to re-enter the House. Holt's supporters produced green bumper stickers reading Mike Congressman is a rocket scientist reflecting his scientific background. Holt is one of two members of Congress to have participated in the American television game show Jeopardy, the other being Senator John McCain of Arizona. Both appeared in the Fleming era of the television series, with Holt winning five games. Holt's official congressional website mentioned his being a five-time winner, as did some of his campaign materials. On February 28, 2011, Holt participated in a non-televised exhibition Jeopardy match against the IBM computer Watson, along with four other members of Congress Jim Himes, Nan Hayworth, Jared Polis, and Bill Cassidy. Holt bested the computer $8,600 to $6,200 in a single round match. As a congressman, Holt maintained liberal viewpoints on several major issues and consistently voted accordingly. For example, he supported abortion rights, opposed the privatization of social security, and supported a public health care option. Several of his legislative priorities included tax credits for small businesses, increasing access to college education for middle-class families, maintaining Medicare and social security, and preserving the environment. In 2009, the National Journal rated him as one of the eight most liberal members of the House of Representatives. Holt's rankings released by various interest groups reflect his liberal views. Since 2009, he has been rated 100% in accordance with the interests of the following interest groups, among others American Public Health Association, Americans for Democratic America, and Nairobi pro Choice America. Holt was a member of the New Democrat Coalition and the Congressional Progressive Caucus. In the 113th Congress, he served as co-chair of the Energy Task Force in the New Democrat Coalition. He received the grade of 100% on the Progressive Drum Major Institute's 2005 and 2007 Congressional School Codes on Middle Class Issues, and he was consistently scored well by that organization. Environment 
As a member of the House Committee on Natural Resources, Holt supported legislation to clean up the environment and cap greenhouse gas emissions, and he promoted the development and use of alternative energy sources. He reintroduced the Big Oil Bailout Prevention Act in 2011, co-sponsored the No New Drilling Act in 2012 to prevent new oil drilling on the Outer Continental Shelf, co-sponsored the Oceans Conservation, Education and National Strategy for the 21st Century Act HR 21, founded the Children's Environmental Health Caucus to raise awareness about environmental issues pertaining to children's health, and secured funding to preserve open space and recreation areas. On September 21, 2012, Hall voted against the Stop the War on Coal Act of 2012 H.R. 3409, a bill passed in the House 233-175. On July 30, 2010, he voted for the Offshore Drilling Regulations and Other Energy Law Amendments Bill H.R. 3534, which passed in the House. On June 26, 2009, Paul voted for the Energy and Environmental Law Amendments Cap and Trade Bill H.R. 2454, which passed in the House by a narrow margin of 219 to 212. He also voted for the Renewable Energy Credits and Other Business and Individual Credits Bill H.R. 7060 to extend energy efficiency tax credits, as well as various individual and business tax credits. Paul maintained a 100% lifetime rating from the League of Conservation Voters since 1999, in addition to a 100% rating by Environment America in 2008, 2009 and 2011, and a 100% rating by Defenders of Wildlife Action Fund from 2003 to 2008. On November 12, 2012, the New Jersey Sea Club awarded Holt the Outstanding Achievement Award for his environmental conservation efforts. A September 2012 Nature article featured Holt and his rare background as a research scientist thinks what is equally important is having more scientific thinking. Even among the non-scientists in government, I'm more interested in a way that scientists are trained to deal with uncertainty, to deal with evidence and statistical reasoning, things that are lacking in the political debates when it comes to global warming, for instance. Representative Holt says we don't need people in Congress who understand atmospheric pressure or glaciation, we simply need them to be open to the idea that evidence might disprove what they think they know, and that, he says, is thinking like a scientist. Discussing science's role in policy and government, Holt points out a fallacy in the way people think about science. The ethic in the profession is that you stick to your science, and if you're interested in how science affects public policy or public questions, just let the facts speak for themselves. Of course, there's a fallacy there too. Facts are, by themselves, worthless. Education Holt is a strong supporter of educational initiatives, but questions the ways in which science is taught. Our real problem is not that we're failing to produce excellent scientists, because we are, but rather that we have failed to maintain an appreciation for and understanding of science in the general population. He is concerned that science education since 1958 may have created a population that is largely disconnected from scientific thinking. We left behind about 80% of the population because we teach science in the schools primarily for future scientists. Bolt emphasizes the importance to all citizens of empirically based thinking. While co-chair of the Research and Development Caucus, a member of the House Committee on Education and Labour and serving on the National Commission on Mathematics and Science Teaching for the 21st Century, Holt worked on crafting several comprehensive education policies. He helped write the College Cost Reduction Act, the largest college aid expansion bill since the GI Bill, which drastically reduced student loan interest rates and included Holt's provision to provide upfront tuition assistance for math, science and foreign language teachers. He also helped establish the American Opportunity Tax Credit to alleviate the burden of college tuition for low- and moderate-income students. Furthermore, Holt helped enact the Education Jobs and Medicaid Assistance Act, which provides states with funding to reduce budget shortfalls and keep teachers in their classrooms. Throw his significant legislative work on and support for all education initiatives, but also for legislation to strengthen national security through expansion and improvement of foreign language study and to increase foreign language capacity in the U.S. intelligence community and throughout the federal government by expanding education in critical need foreign languages. Holt received the Foreign Language Advocacy Award from the Northeast Conference on the Teaching of Foreign Languages in 2005. On May 28, 2010, Holt voted in support of the Science and Technology Funding Bill H.R. 5116, a bill passed in the House that provided funding for science and technology research and development purposes. Formerly the Assistant Director at Princeton University's Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, Holt sought to promote involvement in programs of STEM fields. He successfully defended funding for the Department of Education's Mathematics and Science Partnerships programs. As a result of his efforts, he was repeatedly given on a rating by the National Education Association after 2007, along with a 100% approval rating by the National Association for College Admission Counseling in 2006 and 2009-2011. On January 22, 2013, Holt introduced a resolution designating February 12, 2013 Charles Darwin's 204th birthday as Darwin Day in order to recognise the importance of sciences in the betterment of humanity. Social Issues on his website, Holt stated, Since coming to Congress, I have fought for fairness in healthcare coverage, worked to protect victims of domestic violence and sexual assault, supported equal pay for equal work, and sought gender equity in schools. While a congressman, he strongly believed in women's right to make decisions about their health care without interference by the government and supported Roe v. Wade. Holt successfully opposed legislation that would have prevented access to birth control, eliminated funding for Title X, the National Family Planning Programme, and denied federal funding to Plan Parenthood. 
Planned Parenthood and the National Family Planning and Reproductive Health Association consistently issued an approval rate of 100% for Holt beginning in 1995, while the Nairal Pro-Choice America rated Holt 100% beginning in 1999. Holt also sponsored the Help Who Seniors Choose Their Medicare Drug Plan Act HR 3152, which increased the access that low-income healthcare recipients have to prescription drugs under Medicare and Medicaid. With the Protection Against Strumful Voter Purges Act HR 3835, Holt attempted to regulate the removal of voters' names from eligibility lists to ensure the validity of those lists. With the judicious use of surveillance tools and counterterrorism efforts, Justice Act of 2009 at HR 4005, Holt increased limits on governmental power with respect to counterterrorism efforts. Committee Assignments Committee on Education and the Workforce Subcommittee on Higher Education and Workforce Training Subcommittee on Health, Employment, Labour and Pensions Committee on Natural Resources Subcommittee on Energy and Mineral Resources Ranking Member Subcommittee on Public Lands and Environmental Regulation Caucus Memberships Research and Development Caucus Founder, Co-Chair, Historic Preservation Caucus Co-Chair Biomedical Research Caucus Co-Chair Sustainable Energy and Environment Coalition Vice-Chair Alzheimer's Caucus Children's Environmental Health Caucus Diabetes Caucus International Conservation Caucus Renewable Energy Caucus Sustainable Development Caucus Congressional Arts Caucus 2013 U.S. Senate Election On June 6, 2013, Holt became the first Democrat to become a candidate in the special election to fill the U.S. Senate seat vacated by the death of Frank Lautenberg. He lost the August 13, 2013, primary to Cory Booker. Booker was subsequently elected to the Senate in 2013 and re-elected in 2014. Post-Congressional Career As Holt's final term in Congress was ending, the American Association for the Advancement of Science was announced that he would become its chief executive officer and executive publisher of the science family of generals, Succeedy Alan I. Leshner. Upon accepting the position, Hull praised the AS mission statement and said, Fostering science and public engagement and advancing science and international affairs is what I've been doing for decades in one way or another. He serves on the advisory board of the Journal of Science Policy and Governance. He retired from ours in September 2019. Holt is currently a member of the Reformers Caucus of Issue 1.